Hi everyone! Before we start this video, we wanted to give you all a big thank you. Psych2Go's vision is to make psychology more accessible to everyone. Today's topic is on 5 types of attraction you may experience. If you could share this video with someone who might be confused with their feelings towards someone, that'd be a major help to the vision. What comes to your mind when you hear the word attraction? Were you thinking of sexual attraction? When it comes to attraction, sexual attraction is pretty much all people talk about. No one really teaches you about any other kind. This makes distinguishing our feelings for different people quite challenging. So, to make things a bit clearer, here are five types of attraction you may experience in your life. 1. Platonic Attraction A platonic relationship is a close relationship between two persons in which sexual desire is non-existent. Platonic attraction is the desire to have a platonic relationship or do platonic things with a specific person. What is considered platonic is very contextual, so platonic relationships can vary significantly between people and cultures. Platonic feelings can be just as intense or confusing as any other attraction and are in no way secondary to any of them. 2. Sensual Attraction this is the desire to have physical, but not inherently sexual, contact with a specific person. This can include holding hands, cuddling, kissing, and etc. Though it often coexists with other attractions, it doesn't always have to. Being sensually attracted to someone doesn't necessarily mean you are attracted to them in another capacity. 3. Romantic Attraction This is the desire to have a romantic relationship or do romantic things with a specific person. Romantic attraction is usually assumed to be bundled with sexual attraction, or that they are one and the same, but that isn't always the case. It's possible to be attracted to someone romantically without the additional sexual attraction, or even sensual attraction. What is considered romantic might overlap somewhat with what is considered platonic. 4. Sexual Attraction this is the desire to have a sexual relationship or do sexual things with a specific person. Sexual activities are typically defined by having some sort of genital contact. This attraction can exist independently from other forms of attraction, though many people experience it alongside romantic attraction. 5. Aesthetic Attraction This is finding pleasure in the appearance of a specific person in the same way you might find a piece of artwork or pretty scenery. Since it usually accompanies sexual attraction, it's easy to confuse the two if you don't have a strong frame of reference or lack experience. Aesthetic attraction can also exist separately from other attractions, so thinking someone is nice to look at doesn't always mean you want to do anything with them. It's important to acknowledge that, given the complexity of the human mind and body, the way people experience attraction is unique to the individual, so don't freak out if something you feel is different than what someone else feels. Are there any other attractions that we missed out in this video? How many of these did you already know about? Do you ever feel confused about how you are attracted to someone? Tell us about it in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.